Million dollar stream. Yo, dude, like, I was actually so sad that they removed World Peace. I, I really, I, I think Sam Hyde is really funny. Like, honestly, like, it, I, I really, really think he's funny. And uh, I, I wish he'd make more content, actually. Uh, let me see. I, I think there's one of these. I can show you guys a clip, right? I can show you guys a clip that I think is really, really funny. Th this is the guy I'm talking about. You call up, you wait for it to go to collections, they call you up, okay? They say, uh, what's going to happen is collections is going to call, they're going to say, you, we need, you need to pay us 70 or 300, let's be realistic, you need to pay us $350 a month, okay? What you do is this. This is Nick's technique. I can't take credit for this, although I put my own interesting twist on it. You say, ah, geez, dude, 350 Ah. Now these people are used to hearing sob stories all day. I don't know why. I just think this is so funny. So you don't you don't have to feel ashamed for hitting them with a sob story, real or fake. They hear this all day. What you do is you go, Ah, dude, I just hit my car. I'm on these pills, bro. I can't do 350. Make a story. Tell them a story. This is another. This is one of my tactics now. The longer you keep someone listening to your fucking story. The better it's going to be for you, okay? This that applies is, in all areas. That, of everywhere, everywhere. Everywhere. You Demonst want something oh, done? Never mind. I Tell a fucking story. You want it? You want your teacher to bump your grade up one, up five percent? Tell them a fucking twenty-minute story. Fuck them. And that's the way you got to think about it. As you're telling a story, you know, I'm, try, I'm trying. <laughs> I, to tell I like someone this. A story. I'm trying to come up with. It's a like a completely new new idea to tell stories to fuck people over. Like, you want people to listen to a story just to fuck them. That's- that's new. I like that. 20 minute story. What do I want to do? Do I want to entertain them? Do I want to have a poignant message at the end of it? No, if I'm trying- if, if someone is standing between me and money, or success, or, you know, whatever, a, a, a bureaucrat in a roadblock position, I'm, when I'm telling them the story, I'm thinking, fuck you. You're going to sit here with me for 25 fucking minutes and you're going to listen to my sad story. Okay, so you get this person on the phone, you go, ah, dude, ah. You use that voice. They hear that voice all day. They're not going to, they can't tell that you're making this up. Ah, dude, I hurt my leg, bro. I lost my shoe. I was out on the street and I hurt my leg, dude. I was in the hospital for days with my leg, and they got me on these pills. I can't afford anything. I can't pay three fifty. The longer you tell the story, you don't really even have to tell a long story, but it's going to you be, have to get them invested. People you know? benefit you in the end. And then the debt collector, they're going to go, "Okay, sir. Well, you can't. So you can't pay three fifty a month." Let me put this light back on. See, this no, is I why I like it. I was going to opt for the, the F-150 filmmaker cut. package. You know? <laughs> really, really shitty production quality. That's how you know it's real. I couldn't justify the extra $70 for the filmmaker package. But it comes with its Carl Zeiss lenses over the headlights. Um, mm. So you tell them the story, okay? And make it painful. You're trying to... You're trying to waste this person's time deliberately. And, um, <laughs> at the end of it, they're going to say, so, oh, I understand, sir. So you can't do 350 a month. What can you do? How much can you do? This is Nick's tactic. This changed my life. This is good. You go like this. You go, ah, geez. I don't know. Uh, three dollars? <laughs> <laughs> They'll fucking... Let you pay three dollars a month. I still owe thousands of dollars. The, when I three dollars. When, when I first learned about Bitcoin, I did the crazy move that everybody, everybody really in my life told me this. I was crazy. Told me I was going to regret it, etc. I took out thousands of dollars of credit card debt to buy Bitcoin, like twelve thousand dollars of debt. Okay, and I still owe that just because I haven't. Paid I, it I wonder so if that's actually real. Because I'm paying like eleven dollars a month to owe somebody. 12,000 and it's not yeah, like I, I interest killed. keeps going up, right? No, because they're gonna call you in like five years and be like, Can, will you settle for half? They did this, they do this, and they do this. You go, uh, I could, 
I could pay like 40% of it right now cash, but I only got cash because I got money for the pills. I don't know. I haven't had money in day. I only have four. I got 4,000. You, <coughs> what do I owe you? 16,000? Ah, dude. I got 4,000 now, but the only way I can pay it is if I pay off all the debt, but that's only because I got the pills. Um, that money's going to be gone tomorrow. You make the collection. Create a sense of urgency. You have money one time and that it's going to be gone tomorrow and this is the only time they're going to be able to recoup any amount of the debt they will they will settle for half of what you owe like minimum okay <laughs> but that's not the main point the main point is that if somebody owed me twenty thousand dollars i would be pissed a lot. off i'd be borderline having a heart attack all the time i'd be thinking about it all the time i would want to kill this person okay <laughs> and i'm not going to do that in exchange for eleven dollars a month that's the value you're getting. That's what you're getting. You're getting a lump sum or whatever it is. You're getting that's that true. big figure for $7 a month. That's the tip. You tell them a story. They ask you what you can do. And instead of firing back with, oh, I don't know, $100 a month? No, you're doing $8 a month. That's it right there. I don't know why, but I've probably watched that video like three or four times. And I just think it's so fucking funny. I really do because they did this basically for my mom, right? I don't know if she'd really want me saying this, but she had a lot of uh, she had a lot of credit card debt, and they basically they just wrote it off. They just wrote it off as income for her, and they just said "fuck you," and that was it. Kids are gonna believe it. Yeah, yeah, they actually did that. And then my other friend Zach, uh, so he basically he had a deal with. Uh, uh, some sort of, what do you call it? He had a deal with, like, some apartment company, and he didn't pay the apartment because his name was on a lease that it shouldn't have been on. And they would call us up all the time. And, uh, you know, they'd be like, oh, is this Zach? And they'd be like, yeah. And be like, well, this is, you know, Bill from Debt Collection Agency. He'd be like, oh, no, sorry, this isn't Zach. This is Count Chocula. And, and then we just, you know, like, hang up the phone. And this went on for a while. And eventually, I'm pretty sure they let him settle for, like, almost none of the money in the first place, and he just kept the rest of it. Yeah, fuck him. Oh, oh I still have the screen. Okay, yeah. Yeah, the, I, I think Sam Hyde's really funny. Uh, at least, like, I, I enjoy it. All it takes is a complete disregard for your credit score? Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, that's the way it goes. Credit score? I don't have one, so it's fine to me. Yeah, he can't keep getting away with it, right? Do you like Count Dankula? I don't really know a lot about him. I just know he's the guy that got, like... Uh, he, they were trying to, like, arrest him for, like, making his dog a Nazi. And I was like, yep, that's just your stupid European stuff. And I, I didn't really think about it anything, like, it, it, any point after that. I'm like, oh, yep, that's just Europe being Europe. And I stopped thinking about it, really. At least you don't have school shootings all the time in the EU? No, of course not. There is no violence that happens in the EU. No violence and no crime happens in the EU. It's actually one of the good things about living there. You never have to worry about any violence or any crime at all. Uh, it's completely fine. That's right. 